There are two new LEGO Star Wars diorama sets that have leaked in the last couple of days. They're for the 40th anniversary of Star Wars. Um, I think they are a little bit lackluster, but let's have a look at them. First off, you've got the new Emperor's Throne Room diorama. It comes with 807 pieces and it comes with three minifigures. We would have loved to see more minifigures with this, maybe two guards. Um, but yeah, for the price tag that it, it will be, it would have been nice with some more minifigures. Of course, I reckon the diorama is really good. The negatives, I think that it looks like there's going to be stickers on the front, not printed like you've seen in a lot of other sort of these sort of sets, which is kind of disappointing. Hopefully the um, back behind the Emperor you can see isn't uh, stickers hopefully it's printed on has to be otherwise it's so much work but other than that i think it's really cool and i'm definitely gonna be getting this diorama i know the price tag is really high but i'll definitely be putting in some of the guards in the back or next to the, the um, emperor just to add that little bit more detail into it um, but yeah overall i reckon this is a cool set and i will be copying it once it comes out um, whenever that date is next up is the endor speed chase diorama it's got 608 pieces and 18 plus. Uh, it comes with three minifigures. Obviously, you've got a scout trooper, Luke and Leia chasing after him. Um, again, we'll like some more minifigures, even just, just had some of those Endor bears somewhere on there. But the most thing I like on this is the speeders, how they're on the side. They're not just straight up as they're coming through the trees, as in like they're coming towards you. I think that's really cool. Um, the other thing is the trees. There's going to be a really contentious topic for LEGO fans. As some will like them, some will hate them. Some will say they're just, you know, too simple a kid could have built them um, for an 18 plus set. Uh, but I really like uh, the shrubbery on the ground, the leaves, the grass. Um, it looks really cool detail. I, I will definitely be getting this set. Um, obviously, it's a diorama. Again, as the same as the throne room. They're going to probably be stickers on the front, not printed. I hate how Lego's been doing it recently. They seem to be moving away from printing on their Lego pieces because I'm guessing it's more costly. But we, of course, would like to see more printed stuff like for a set that's meant to be Lego Premium for 18 Plus Diorama. So overall, I probably would like to get these sets. Uh, they're a bit expensive. I would like to see if I could get them on a discount, but that may take you know, a year or two. Um, overall, I think, like all Lego sets, there's parts that you'll like and parts that you'll hate. Um, and I feel that that's like Lego at the moment because it seems there's just something missing from everything at the moment. Like you just want that little bit more, but Lego isn't giving it. Um, and also the cost is also always going up. You can't stop that because Lego is going up. Again, the uh, Lego seems to be going away from printed pieces to stickers um, for the sort of premium sets, 18 plus, that you want them, but that just seems to not be wanting to give it to us. It's really disappointing. I hope LEGO will change. And uh, let me know your thoughts on these new LEGO sets and if you'll be getting them, when you'll be getting them, if you'll be trying to wait out to see if there's a bit of a discount going on. Um, other than that, let me know. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.